Today we're looking at 100 of the most extreme riddles that have ever been created, and 99% of people cannot solve any of these riddles. Oh boy, this one already seems hard and hasn't even started. That's literally how scared I am. Okay. Three men enter a room. Three men. No one enters or leaves the room. Okay, three men go in. No one goes in or out after an hour. After that hour is up. Two men walk out. Okay. And after they leave, the room is empty. They killed and ate Where him. Where did the third man go? They killed him and ate the third man, right? Let me know if you get the answer. Well, you're not going to tell me the answer? Okay, there's two possibilities here. Number one, they killed him and consumed his body. Number two, it's a chat room and he disconnected. Maybe. I think they ate him. I'm pretty sure they ate him. One line to make 200, okay? One line. Okay, one line to make it say 200. To make 200. Okay, a circle is a line, right? A circle is a line technically, like, right? So we could do a circle. I would do a two that start, I would trace my thing. I would do a two. It's curvy, it's still curving, it's still curving, it's still one line. Okay, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Two, two, you put a line right there. Two, boom, right? You cross the one and it becomes two. T-O-O, hundred, two hundred. Boom, that's it. I, I think, I think I did it. I think I did it. What has four legs but can't walk? Um, a cat with broken legs? Bruh. A table. Oh man, I should have got that one. How do you make seven an even number? You take off the S. I feel like I wouldn't have gotten that if I didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure that's it. By removing the letter S. Boom, I got that. I think I wouldn't have got it though if it wasn't on text. That was pretty good. What word has three consecutive double letters? Like, ooh. Mm. Three consecutive double letters. It's got double letter, double letter, double letter. Like what? Bookkeeper. I definitely did not get that from the comments that I just read right there. Oops. You're running in a race and you pass the person in fifth You're place. You're in fourth now. No, what? wait, oh my gosh. Are you in fifth? Wait, if the guy, hold on. Oh God, I don't, wait a minute. If the guy's in fifth do, 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 and you pass him, then you're in fifth, right? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then you become him. And you're not fourth because you'd have to pass fourth. Whoa. I never thought of that before. That's crazy. I'm actually, I like that one. That's stupid, but I like it. One plus one is four. This doesn't make sense. Three plus three is 36. Five plus five is 100. Okay. All right, let's do this. So one plus one is four. Three plus three is 36. Honestly, I just don't know. To be real with you, this one I can't figure out. I, I'm an engineer. Don't know it. Sharon went to Paris. She bought a phone. Okay. And she bought a car. Okay. What did she buy first? A phone or a car? What'd she buy first? A plane ticket? The answer is actually plane ticket. Oh, she actually said it was plane ticket. I thought that was a joke. Okay, well, that, that was a little bit too easy. Letters sometimes has nine letters, but never has five letters. Mm -hmm. Share if you get it. Oh, I get it already because it's the amount of letters in the words and it's not even a riddle or it kind of is. It's too easy. This riddle, you are super smart. Well, I've already established that I'm not smart at this point. Let's do it. Five sisters in the room. Anne is reading a book. Margaret is cooking. Kate is playing chess. Marie is doing laundry. What is the fifth sister doing? Let huh? She's reading, cooking, chess, laundry. Playing chess, I guess, right? She's gotta be playing chess against Kate. Already got it, baby. I just thought of that one right away. I'm good. You enter a classroom. There are 25 students. The bell rings. It's after school. 20 students left. How many are in the classroom? 20? No, none. <laughs> None because the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. God, these TikTok comments are too good. Their jokes are just fire. I, I wish I was that funny. Three sons, he would die soon, and he needed to decide which one of them to give his property to. Oh. He said, go to the market and buy something that is large enough to fill my bedroom, but small enough to fit in your pocket. From this, I will decide which- Okay, I will buy a, a pocket of Orbeez and then fill them up with water. The wisest and worthy enough to inherit wow. my land. They all went to the market and each came back with a different item. The father told his sons to come into his bedroom one at a time to try to fill up his bedroom with their item. Okay. The first son came in and put some pieces of cloth he bought. Oh, you're stupid, first son. You don't deserve it. barely it. covered the floor. The second son came in and laid some hay on the floor. Okay. There was only enough to cover half the floor. The third son came in and showed- Bubbles. A horse. Ladybug. What did the third son show his father? Fill it up. Fill up the property. Water? Do you just bring a hose in and turn the hose on and fill it up with water and flood the whole house and ruin it? Someone said a light bulb or a candle because it emitted light. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of ways to do this, but I would definitely do Orbeez. Because then I'd make a YouTube video on it and get hundred million views. Oh, the prisoner has a Google riddle. interview. Okay. Oh, you're gonna love it. See if I'd get a job at Google. I don't ask any of my employees riddles. I should start doing that. I'm gonna ask this one of my hmm. editors who's editing this video right now. There are four prisoners on the staircase, oh, all God. facing the same direction. A brick wall separates prisoner four from the rest. To summarize, man one can see man two and three. Man 2 can only see Man 3, and unfortunately, Man 3 and 4 can't see anyone. Okay. As you can see in the picture, all four prisoners are wearing hats. Uh -huh. They are told that there are two black hats and two white hats. However, they do not know the color of the hats they are personally wearing. Then, the prisoners are told to shout out the color of the hat they are wearing as soon as they were certain they knew what color it is. So the question is, 
Who's the first prisoner to shout out correctly? Okay, so who's the first prisoner to know what color hat he's wearing? So if we look at this, we can see, number one, I'm pretending I'm in a real Google interview here today. Number one, sir, would be white and black. He's like, I see white and black. So he doesn't know what he is because he could be black or white. These two have no idea because they can't see anything. And this guy only sees black, meaning he still also has no idea. So if I was in a real interview situation, I'd keep talking, be like, so this is very interesting, like while I'm thinking, but since I'm not, I will think there has to be a way for this. I, this guy, I feel like has to be the one. There's no logical way for him to know, I would think. So if number one needs to know what his hat color is, and he can't tell because there's two right there with different hats, could he, can they talk? Can he just yell over the wall and say, hey, yo, number four, what color? Like, I mean, that, that'd tell him, but he could look in the shine of his shoes and then see the reflection of his hat color and the shoe shine reflection and then also do it that way. He could feel the warmth of the heat coming down onto his head and determine, oh, this is much hotter than a white hat would probably be. Therefore, I'm a black hat. Okay, I know it. Okay, this is weird. It's gonna be the second person because the second person sees black and he knows that if he was also wearing black, number one would have said two blacks, that means we're white. And since number one didn't shout it, he now realizes he must be white. Then he calls white. This guy knows that if he's, if he knows that, but I don't, I don't see how that helps him. It appears as soon as you say its name. A dog? Disappears as soon as you say its name. Yes. The word name? My dad. Wow. <laughs> My mom, am I right? If you can solve this riddle, your IQ might be high enough to genuinely be a genius. Let's go. So listen carefully and good luck. You I'm are ready. standing in front of two doors. One I want heaven. I win. Leads to heaven and one that leads to hell. Okay. The problem is you don't know which door is heaven and which door is hell. Only the two guards that stand outside of the doors know which one is which. Now one of the guards will always tell the truth. However, the other one will always lie. But once again, you don't know which one tells the truth and which one lies. You can only ask one guard one question. So what's the question you decide to ask? Okay, I would ask the liar how to lie so i would ask the liar does that guy i would say does the other guard tell the truth or lie and then he would lie no i wouldn't know which one the liar is if i asked the truth guy he would say the liar's a liar if i asked the liar guy he would say the truth's a liar so that doesn't help me what would i say i'm not even looking i'm like solving this as if this really is my life on the line right here literally the doors are in front of me and i'm thinking I'm, I'm in that mindset right now i'm literally here i'm freaking out my life's over i need to go to heaven come on i need my brain to just click hmm, it's not working hmm, wow you'd think that would have uh, put me in the right state <laughs> I was overthinking it, guys. We have the freaking solution. Right here in the comments, it says, ask one what's two plus two, and if he lies or gets it wrong, walk in the other door. Well, I really overthought that, didn't I? What's two plus two? Five. You're a liar. Right now, you've got four boxes. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. You need to make five boxes, but you can only remove two straws, but all the boxes must be complete. So I gotta make complete boxes and I move in two straws. Okay, all right. Straw number one, this one, we're moving it right here. Boom, that gives us three, one, two, three. Straw number two, this one, we're moving it here. One, two, three, that gives us six boxes. Boom, I already did it, let's move on. One night, a woman receives a call from the police. They tell her that her husband was murdered and she should come to the crime scene as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. The woman drops the phone, shot, and drives 20 minutes to the crime scene. As soon as she reaches the crime scene, the police arrest her and she is convicted of murder. How did the police know she committed the crime? God, I zoned out. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to skip it because I just zoned out in the middle of it. Started thinking about something else. I thought, wouldn't that be cool if I made my own parkour server? And then people recorded videos on it. That's what I just, I just went there. Seven second riddles. I mean, I have seven <laughs> seconds to answer it. Like, that's not enough. All right. Okay. That's, I, I'm under pressure now. I'm less excited at the moment. Who are the space aliens? The two. The two is spaghetti. The two is spaghetti. I'm calling it right now. The two with the spaghetti, right? The two is spaghetti. This is more than seven seconds. I think it's those two because they're not eating and they look weirdly suspicious. Did I miss something? No! What? Oh, he was drinking toothpicks and I didn't even notice? I saw that, right? That looks normal. She was just mixing her soup. Okay, now we know what an alien is defined as. Let's see what we got. Round two. Okay, egg dude. I'm focused on egg dude. He looks like he looks good. He's not an alien. Guy in the back keeps chopping, he looks pretty good. But that, that could be his knife hand, that could be a knife hand. Girl with a lobster. Eggs. What? What, what, what do you mean? What are you circling? I'm just confused. Oh, because they're not cracking? Yeah, I saw her dip her hand in, I was just spit. She's taking it out of the boiling water, how did I not notice that? Okay, I saw that, I at least got the freaking knife. All right, moving on to the next topic. Let's see what we got here, folks. I feel like already off the bat, uh, it's, it's it, we're on the struggle bus today, guys, but let's see what we got here. The police arrived on call to the bank. That has been robbed today. He was wearing a mask, so I didn't see his face, but he left dirty footprints on the floor. Mask, you couldn't see his face, dirty footprints on the floor. It's strange, it's dry and sunny today. Unfortunately, the masks are indistinct. Later, the police identified three suspects. Which one is it? Oh, I was sleeping at home after work. All right, that's a pretty weak alibi. I've seen enough cop shows to know that's probably not good enough. I was cleaning my house. I was at home watching TV. I feel like it's the left guy. I feel like his face shape 
matches the mask I saw for some reason. Oh, but I gotta figure out who has muddy footprints. I mean, the obvious answer is Nick. I feel like that means because Nick would have to walk through the water, it's probably Nick, but I'm gonna go with Adam based on the face. Final answer, Adam, it's Jack. What? Because he had to go through the park. I, 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 just, I disagree. I'm sorry, but I disagree. It was a bad riddle. I don't think any of you picked the other guy, all right? Leave me a comment if you did. Three friends witnessed a robbery. They heard the sound of breaking glass. A suspicious person near the jewelry store. Green shirt, big fat nose, villager looking nose. Come on guys, surrounding. Surrounding? Sur what, what does that mean, surrounding? You can check my pockets, but you won't find anything. He's talking like a frog. You can see his mask inflating like a frog does. Gets me suspicious he's an alien. Wait, where did he hide the jewelry? Well, I'll be pointing out right now, I saw his mouth open, but if I had to say one thing right off the bat, I'm gonna say it's inside the flashlight where the batteries go. Inside the flashlight, that's my final answer. Bang! That's what i do if I was a jewel thief. How'd I know that? Do you know how to survive? Wait, I have to go that quick? What do I do? Uh, grab the tree and go up. Grab the tree and go up. Okay, I got it. I got it that quick. I got it. That's what I would do. Like, do you know how to survive snake? What does that even mean? What do you mean do you know how to survive snake? What, what? Just don't even go near it. Pick it up by its tail. I'll grab its neck, not its tail. Grab its neck. Is that what you want? What? These aren't even riddles. Grizzly, okay. If it's black, go back. If it's brown, get on the ground. I just made that up. Okay, well, that was wrong. <laughs> I would die. Who's more stupid? Well, so far, I feel like it's been me. Um, but that guy is possibly dying on a bed with a with a thing. What is he eating? Oh, out-of-date medicine or sold both kidneys online. Well, what, what do you mean? Who's stupid? That guy's dead. You can't survive with both kidneys being sold. If it says the dude on the left is more stupid, I'm going to actually be so triggered. Taking out-of-date medicine could be an accident. Thank God, man. Finally, we got one. I mean, geez. That, that should have been quicker. You did not mean. You need a full minute. Can you become an FBI agent? Study the picture below for 40 seconds. Oh, jeez. Robber in all black with a gun. There's that green dude that's robbing money from earlier. We got a dude here with a brown potato sack shooting a guy in all black. Super good looking dude here shooting a girl on the ground and a family cheering with orange shirt, a dead body next to him, and then like a president, and then a Mercedes car with like a bull driving. I will literally not remember any of that. How many robbers were there? Three. I'm putting my, I'm putting my life on the line on this one. I got no doubt. It's three. What? Okay, what was the brand name of the car? Mercedes, 100% thousand sure it's Mercedes. Guarantee it. Boom! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. What was the license plate number? Uh, J74N. Just completely guessing, I don't know, but that felt right to me. 13RR. Okay, well, I did, apparently. Subconscious mind wasn't there for us. Is there the driver in the car? Yes, there is a driver in the car, and he looks weird. You can barely see him through the window. I got that. Yep, told you. I told you. How many witnesses of the crime were there? There was... Three in the back. If you count the driver, that's four. If you count the guy being killed over here, that's five. If you count this guy being killed, it's six. So it's either three or six. So to find witness, I mean, at least three in the back, but I'd say probably. Yeah, six. I got it. An earthquake destroyed your lap and let a deadly virus out. Really? Is that, is that, when was this video posted? Oh, this was posted in 2018. Well, guess what, buddy? Welcome to 2020 video. The lab has 16 rooms. Each room is connected to the adjacent one. Each one is infected except the entrance. Get there in as little, you must enter each room and pull the self destruct switch. If you enter a room, you can't leave without activating the switch. Once you do that, you can't go back. Oh, you're gonna make me go through every single room, aren't you? You can't go back the way that you went. Oh, come on, no, I can't. Got it. You go in, down, left, squiggle up, take to the right, straight down, boom, right out. Watch, I just got it. I literally clutched it up. Watch this, it's gonna go in, down, squiggle up. Okay, well, my way works too, buddy. I basically did that, but I did it sideways. Yeah, okay, there's more possible pass. Okay. Did anyone do it like me? In, down, squiggle up, down the phone. Is it true love or passion? What does that mean? You're tired, let me do it. You're the best, honey. Uh, true love on the right, passion on the left. A uh, bunch of likes, flowers. Um, love, passion, left. Yep. Passion, that's what I said. I just, it's, I, trust me, I'm just thinking quick. Two guys saying you're beautiful. This guy's pregnant. Probably gonna say love, pa uh, passion, then love. I got that one backwards, okay. I don't see the difference. It doesn't matter if you're pregnant or not, but okay. One more. Is it true love or passion? Think about you all day, I got sick. Oh no, I get well sick. Think about you, I got sick. I'll come over again. Right has gotta be true love. Right has gotta be passion. Left is true love. I went backwards. I don't understand the difference between love and passion, apparently. Maybe that's why I'm single. Kiss in front of others, act modestly. Kiss in front of others, passion. Act modestly, love. Let's freaking go. Let's go, baby. I'm sorry, but long distance relationships are too tough. Wow, buddy, I can relate to that. Uh, love on the right, pa love on the left, passion on the right. God, it feels so good, man. I get a dopamine hit. What's the most annoying situation in the world when someone relaxes? Oh, relaxes too much. Was that? A, is this? A, is it asking me to? Are we supposed to answer what the most? Are we? Are you just showing us when when someone slams the door? I don't. It's not that annoying. I slam the door all the time. My neighbors probably don't like it. My neighbors probably don't like the fact that I scream here at my computer all day either. But guess what? I do. Okay, that's not staring, dude. That's like freaking assault. 
You're getting assaulted. Oh, that was it. We did it. We did the entire thing that quick. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely insane. We've got two bonus riddles for those that stay till the end. Our first riddle, which door is safe? The killer door, the lion who hasn't eaten in three years, or the massive fire? Obviously, the massive fire. I'm kidding, it's a, it's a lion, because the lion's gotta be dead at that point. You would presume that he, having not entered food into his body, is no longer alive. Let's see if we're correct. Come on. What? Wait, how is the, wait, what? Is this saying these would kill you? Oh, I am right. It is the dead tiger. I am right. I am. All right, level two, guys. Which one fills up all the way first? We have six seconds to the side. It's not going to be one. It's not going to be two. It's going to be four. It's got to be four. I don't see any other way that it's got to be four. That fills up three. Three fills up four. And then four. Oh, is it three? No, it is four. Because it has to get to the dotted line. Or is it a tie? Which one is it? Is it actually a tie? Next up, we're on level three riddles. Mr. James was found dead in his room. Poor James. He had no window and the door was locked. The only four people who had the key were questioned. Sophia the maid. I came to wake up, Mr. James. When I saw him dead, I screamed. All right, so obviously it's not the maid because I don't think the girl can kill him. John the butler, when I heard the scream, I ran to the room, turned on the light, and saw Mr. James with a knife in his neck. All right, uh, maybe that guy, I feel like it wasn't though. Sarah, I'm getting sus vibes. I rushed up along John. When he turned on the light, the room was all bloody. So that means he was alive. It sounds like when he rushed, okay, this guy looks evil too. I was prepping breakfast and didn't see anything. Hmm. Now, if there's a, if I would say two things, A, if there's a knife in him, it's Jack the cook who stabbed him. Uh, I don't remember honestly what Sophia said. And I, I don't think Sarah said anything relevant either. So final answer, Jack. It's gonna be the chef. He's the only one that would kill someone. Look at the size of that nose. Bro's a, bro is a actual villager. Is it Jack? What? If the room was dark, she couldn't see Mr. James dead. Bro, what the crap? Are you kidding me? She could have used her phone flashlight. She freaking whipped it out. She was like, mm, I wonder where he is. All right, level four, we're getting even more difficult, guys. This is the more advanced story. An adventurer found a chest with treasures in a cave, guarded by a pirate. Just punch him. He had three keys, gold and silver and black. That one looks like a Minecraft key on the black one. Just keep that in mind if that's relevant. The pirate gave the adventurer only one chance to reach the treasure. Which key is it? Is that what you're gonna ask? If he chooses the right one, he would take the chest. If he was wrong, the pirate would kill him right there. All right, seems like a very risky deal to win some treasure. A one in three chance isn't that bad. All right, the only thing was this clue. Okay, uh, oh God. Oh God, ho, den, eli, tugugu. Nedel, I don't know, I'm just going black, bro. I can't turn that quick enough. It's not black, I'm dead right now. Black key. The, T-H-E, the, gr, go, black, the black one, the black one. The black one. This is how this is what I would do when he finally revealed that I was incorrect. I'll be like black key. I'm failing on these level threes. We're moving to level four. Which door would you choose if you're locked in a room? The salvation lies behind three closed doors. Cold, hot, and a wanted room, it seems. Oh, serial killer killed 300 people. 19, 18, 90. I mean, that's the time to do it because they can't track you with genetics. 1830 degree Fahrenheit flame or liquid nitrogen that'll freeze you. I can see why this is level four. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I feel like uh, one and two are pretty much guaranteed to kill me. The only one I might have a chance on is the serial killer. I, I can't fight fire and I can't fight ice. That's like walking onto the sun or into the center of the moon. I'm going to the serial killer, bro. I'll do it. He's dead. Oh, I didn't even, they just literally, they did it again to me. They tricked me, but I got it right. But that's not why I got it. I got it because the others would automatically guarantee kill me. We're moving on to level 4.5. One morning, little Mary got trapped in a castle. Which door led to her freedom? I don't know, the second one probably? Lava will, the lava will immediately melt anyone who enters. So it's probably not that one. The killer clown would beat any person to death. Potentially that one. I could take a clown. Deadly frost. This is very similar to the last one. Is the clown dead because he's from 1940 or something? The cops will shoot any man of woman instantly. All right, this one's challenging. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm looking at I'm looking at the temperature one. It, the, the temperature says it's slightly below like zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is basically in Ohio, that temperature pretty often. And I would survive that. So I will pick the cold door. What, bro, are you seriously gonna go into a maniac cops room instead of like zero, negative five degrees? It's not even that cold. All right, level six guys getting harder. The police were called in by Alice the maid after she found Miss James' body. I was cleaning when I heard a gunshot. I called Mr. James and left a message telling him something bad had happened and he should come home immediately. All right, I think it was the maid already. I'd arrest her. The police went outside and found Mr. James approaching the house. Okay, that's the same police that's gonna kill everyone, bro. It was probably the police that did it. Anyway, that's terrible who could possibly shot my wife. The police did it. He's the only one with a gun in this shot, in this picture. The police arrested him immediately. I still think it's the police. Oh, it's because they never explained that she was shot. I think that I'm pretty sure they just said it was an emergency. And if he knows she was shot, then he was the one responsible, 
That is crazy. Nobody told Mr. James she was shot. Oh, we got it. Let's go. We're getting on to some seriously advanced riddles. If you beat these, you're a legend. There are two islands connected through a bridge. There is a boy and an apple tree on one island and a girl on the other one. The bridge can withstand the boy and one apple at the same time. So it cannot withstand two apples. I'm following you. But he needs to bring two apples to the girl. Okay, this seems pretty solvable. Toss one over or take one at a time. You can only cross it once. Okay, so she's gonna she's gonna walk over to get an apple and then walk back and then he's gonna walk over with the other apple. Alternatively, he throws the apples because it's really not that far. He could swim across it because it seems like that's very easy to get onto. I got three solutions here for this riddle. Are you serious? The answer is that he has to jug them, juggle them. There ain't no way that's easier than my solution. There have been thefts in a supermarket. The manager couldn't figure out who the thief was. There's three cases in January, April, and June of 2017. This is a lot to remember. I'm not going to lie to you. Have a look at the videos recorded by security cameras to decide who the thief is. Here we go. Number one, um, I personally don't see a thief here. Potential. Okay. Number two, that guy is looking a little bit sus. That girl looks pregnant, but I bet she's not actually, she's probably hiding food. Look, she's not actually pregnant. She's hiding chickens in her stomach. She got full on turkeys in there. Pregnant woman is a pregnant woman. hundred thousand percent. All right. From those three videos, she's not actually pregnant. You know how I know that? Because she's not buying weird pregnant foods. I don't see pickles. I don't see milk. I don't see pickles mixed with milk, ice cream flavored like pickles. None of it. This guy though. I don't know what he's reaching for. What are you doing? My God, you're going to jail. Is what you're doing. What I know, what I say, it's hidden in her belly, isn't it? And January she looks about six to seven months pregnant. In June, she looks the same. That is not the conclusion I drew, but I guess that's also logical. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Why are you not subscribed right now? Subscribe to this channel right now. Okay, all right, we're chilling outside with a security guard. Bro's looking angry. Could be outside of a bathroom, although not an American bathroom because we got gaps in our stalls. He just literally says one to her. One. She says three. Okay, he's gonna say six, five. Oh, that's a password. One, three to go into the bathroom. Three, he's gonna say five. Okay, so the next number is gonna be seven then, right? Five to seven, we're just going up by two. It's got, it's just seven, bro. It's literally, it is obvious. So that's what I'm saying. It's gotta be seven, right? Seven, is, it not, is, it, what, is that wrong? What? How, oh, huh? One to three to five, nine? No, nine, my guess is nine, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I have some logic in my mind for why it would be nine, but I'll explain if I'm right. <laughs> that's not, that's not good. Okay. A bracelet was stolen while the girl was sunbathing. Who did it? Probably the dude with a bow and arrow. How, how would I like be able to guess? Like, I don't see anyone wearing it. If I don't see anyone wearing it, then it must be the girl with the purse who's hiding it in her purse. And the dude with a bow and arrow sh shot her. I feel like it's not. It, I'm just going girl in purse to me. That feels like the vibe. Only a fisherman could steal it without leaving footprints. There's literally footprints like right next to her though. And the bow and arrow guy could just reach out with his bow. Surfboard dude could just bonk her in the head and then just wipe his footprints away. I don't buy it. All right, we're getting to seriously advanced stuff now, guys. Who's the killer? I would say the guy in the middle who has the keys to the door, maybe. I mean, if he's got keys poking out his pocket, I don't see how else you'd get in that door. Other guy's got a broken arm, though. I feel like that's also, like, suspicious to me. There are twins, too, potentially. I'm going with man because he has keys. The guy in front with a dollar bill. Seems too obvious. What? How? The man must have warned the cast to carry the weapon. Why would you, anyone have guessed that logic? That doesn't even make sense. These are hard because they don't make sense. Why would a man with a cast go shopping for shirts and coats? <laughs> what? What, does he not need a coat because he has a broken arm? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even remotely make sense. Like, that's like, yo, why, yo, you got a broken leg. Why would you go buy a pair of pants? I don't make, like, what? All right, let's see if we can solve this. Who dies? This comes down, bounces the ball, hits the spring. Spring's gonna go up. Oh, bro, it's gotta hit the dude right in the middle, right? Seriously, how am I supposed to know how much momentum and force these balls got? All right, all right, here we go. Ball's gonna come down, it's gonna hit that, it's gonna, this one's gonna kill nobody, this one's gonna come down, it's gonna ramp off, it's gonna kill this guy at the far left. Bottom left, dies. Nobody up top, and then due to the bottom. Okay, this one I'll get for sure. These are impossible. Red one goes down, boink, 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 hits that, falls down. Dude laying down dies, the guy here dies, and then uh, probably the guy back there dies. So I got three. I didn't get him. Yes, sir. I got I got one, two of them. Okay, let's get even tougher. Get a Mary back for dinner. They both ordered iced tea. Five of them. She ain't worried about her calories tonight. Mary drank one slowly. When she finished, she died. Wow. Okay. All right. Clearly, uh, you didn't get the right drink. The police found traces of poison in all glasses. So why did Mary die? Jane survived because she's not allergic to iced tea, unlike Mary, who's allergic to the poison. Jane is immune. That's one option. Option two is that Jane didn't actually drink it. She poured it into her shirt. Option three 
think Jane had less poison than Mary. These are all valid. I mean, uh, everyone could be the answer. Uh, but I see drips in the middle of the table. I think Jane dripped it through the bottom of the table. Final answer, she dripped it through the table. The poison was in the ice cubes. You didn't say they were you didn't say that they were ice cubes. You didn't say that. You didn't tell me that. These are so hard. All right, which bullet hole was made first? How is there logic to solve this? How would I figure this out? How would anyone be able to solve something like? I mean, if I'm shooting my first ones at one, like I'm off the most for my first shot. So I'm saying one is the first shot. No, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. The second one, since the cracks from holes one and three stop. That actually makes sense. I don't know why I missed that. That seems obvious now. Almost the most extreme riddles. The couple went on a honeymoon. They're flying on American Airlines flight 7754 from Columbus to Cincinnati, during which the husband fell down a ravine and died. After consoling the crying wife, the police called the tour agency. Hello, agency. Your wife has, I mean, I mean, your someone is, a woman died. I mean, a man died. I don't know. They arrested the wife. Now, generally, wives are not the killer. I feel like the husbands are the killer. So they arrested the wife because she told him what travel agency she was with. I would be a bad investigator. I, I have literally no clue. I miss this. She only bought a one-way ticket for him. Yeah, but that's not like fully evidence. Like you could like want to come back a different way or cheaper. Is the wind blowing? I mean, clearly everything's leaning this way and the birds are going this way. So I'm going to say yes, but because riddles don't ever make sense, I will say no because it's the opposite of what I think. Final answer, no. It's, it's, I believe it is saying that the wind was in fact blowing. The river must be flowing downhill. So the question is which way is downhill? It's gotta be towards us, but then there's like a little drop. No, it's gotta go that way. Cause there's a, it's a going down. It's a waterfall. That's right. That's right. Cause it's going downhill. The waterfall. What season is it? I mean, you got the evergreens. They're always green. That don't tell you nothing. It's not fall. It's not winter. Uh, it's not spring. Cause there's no flowers. Well, there's a little bit. I'm going to say spring. Cause you got little white boys. You see them little white dots down there? Autumn? You circled birds like that has anything to do- What time is it? Sunrise, sunset, how do I know? How, how would you tell if it's sunrise or sunset? Birds fly. You're gonna circle a rock and say because of the shadow? Freaking sunset. Final answer. Didn't even- literally didn't even tell us. All right, finally, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the world's most difficult riddle. 97% of Harvard students who participated failed it, but surprisingly, 84% of kindergartners who participated. I'm not a Harvard student, so I'll pass it. I turn polar bears white. Snow. And I will make you cry. I make guys have to pee and girls comb their hair. I make celebrities look stupid and normal people look like celebrities. I turn pancakes brown and make your champagne. Okay. Cool. If you squeeze me, I'll pop. If you look at me, you'll pop. Can you answer this riddle? Wait, 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 hold on. Let me just listen one more time. Let me just listen one more time. Hold on. I want to say the answer is like television. Cause like the TV makes polar bears white. It can make you cry. I don't know about the girls combing their hair, but celebrities look stupid. Normal people look good. Pancakes become brown. Champagne bubbles. I'm going with, my final answer is television. Time. The answer is time. Bills everyone should get right. Can you solve this? Stand, try to stand under. Try to understand. Try to, try to understand. How about this? Meta, 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 meta. Metaphor. Okay. Solve this. Give, get, give, get, give, get, give, get. You will get what you give. Forgive and forget. How about this? Soup. <laughs> it's split pea soup. What? Okay. Smoke G. G under smoke. Smoke the G under the smoke. Go up and smoke. Spell roast. Okay. R O A S T. Okay. Now spell host. H O S T. H O S T. Now spell most. M O S T. What do you put in a toaster? Toast. Toast. Ha <laughs> ha. Really? Because I put bread in mine. God dang it. That is a dad joke and I just fell right for it. I didn't get the riddle. Mark and Nancy have been married for five years. They have a little son named Sam. Okay. On a Saturday afternoon, the couple went out to a restaurant to celebrate their fifth anniversary together. They've been married for five years. They're celebrating their anniversary. Okay. When they returned in the evening, they found their son dead. There were three other people in the house at the time of the murder. The babysitter said she was ironing Sam's school uniform for tomorrow. The maid said she was cleaning the corners of the house. And the chef said he was chopping vegetables for dinner. Okay. You've been hired to investigate who killed Sam. Sa Boom, here it is. On a Saturday afternoon, the couple went out to celebrate, all right? Saturday, which means tomorrow is Sunday. So if the babysitter was ironing their clothes for tomorrow, there's no school on Sunday, which means this old grandma sliced up the children and murdered them. Watch out for your babysitter, it sounds like. Which would also make sense because she's spending most time with the kids. Boom, mystery solved. I'm a genius. Check it, check it. Count it up. There's 30 cows in the field and 28 chickens. 
How many didn't? What? <laughs> what is going on? Is the answer two? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say it again carefully. There's 30 cows in a field. 30 cows in a field. 28 chickens. 28 chickens. 20 of the cows ate chickens. Not 28, 28. 20 bit them and eat them alive. 10. The answer is 10. 10 of the cows didn't eat the chickens. The answer is 10. I got that one. A woman has five daughters. Each of her daughters has a brother. How many children does she have? But hold on. A woman has five daughters. Each of her daughters has a brother. It could go either way. It could be 10 confidently because each sister would have their own brother. It could also be one because one brother that each sister shares. The answer is either six or 10. It could also be seven. I, basically, there's no way to get this answer unless you ask the mother herself is my final answer. There's 301 bricks on a plane and one falls off. How many are left? 300. 300? Yeah. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? You don't. You can't? You open the door and you put it in. Oh. How do you put the What? Stuff in the fridge? You don't. Open the door? No, you open the door, take the elephant out, and then put oh. the giraffe in. But you can't fit it in. This is fake. This is a fake riddle. It's impossible to put elephant in a fridge. Lion King is having a party, and all the animals attend. Which one doesn't show up? Uh, the Lion King. Cheetah? No. The, the giraffe, because it's in the fridge. Sally has to cross the river of crocodiles. Nice. She gets across safely. Mm -hmm. How? Because the crocodiles are in the fridge. Didn't store them. No, they're all at the Lion King's party. Oh my god! Suddenly, Sally dies. How? The crocodile eats her. The brick falls from the plane and hits her. Oh my god, I literally thought every one I would get and I missed every single one. This is a big X for me. Forward, I am heavy, but backward, I am not. What am I? Stairs. It's a good one. It's like a word that you flip around. Like, anvil would be really heavy, but like, Linva. Livna. Right. Yeah, Livna. Livna is super light. So light. I'm sure I'm on the right track. Don't distract me. I need a word that is forward and backward. I don't think that's it. That little hint. Comment below if you know what it is. So, oh, the comments say the answer is ton. Backwards, I am not. Forward, I am ton. Backward, I'm not. Dang it, man. I can't get anything. I feel like I'm on a dry streak now. Three different doctors said that Paul is their brother. Yet Paul claims he has no brother. Who is lying just from that? Okay, three different doctors said that Paul is their brother. Yet Paul claims he has no brothers because they're sisters. None of one's lying. I got that so quick, man. I freaking got it. Let's go. It's sisters. It's sisters. Let's go. Three apples from 10 apples. How many apples do you have? Three. Seven. Three. You take three. If you take three apples from 10 apples, it's three. how many apples do you have? Correct. Yeah, okay, all right, there's another one, right? I think we're gonna actually hit our 10 wins, our 10 victories today. Let's see this next one. It doesn't need it. The one who buys it doesn't want it. Okay, okay, what do you make and you don't need? It is uh, chemicals in your food. The one who uses it doesn't know it. Camera, glasses, goo, butter? What is it? Stop, smiling. Timber, when you hear a riddle, it just goes like past your ears and you can't even catch any of it. <laughs> Makes it, doesn't need it. Buys it, doesn't want it, uses it, doesn't know it. A tombstone, because you don't want it and you don't need it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uses it. I think the answer is tombstone, but the comments say coffin or casket. At the end of the day, we don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I think mine fits in. You wouldn't want to buy it. I'm going to give myself a check mark. Next, two people, but touches only one. A finger pointing. He said the answer is love, but if it's a finger pointing, you are doing the touching, right? I am touching you, but you are not touching me back. We're connected. It's a finger, right? Uh, you're saying love though. The, I don't know. It's not love. Oh, good. It's finger. I'm talking about a physical touch. It's a finger. It's very close. It's a finger. Not Bluetooth. <laughs> finger? Remember, it physically touches the sink, the one of those people. All right. It, yeah, it is. It's a wedding ring. A wedding ring. Dang it, man. I was close because I had the finger. I just missed the part of putting thing on your finger. I didn't get that. Can you make shorter by adding two letters to it? Short. This box five. It's short. The answer is short. I got it again, dude. I'm on fire. Minor broke into a house late at night and killed a woman. He took her iPhone, AirPods, piano, and even her money. Okay. But what did he take first? Okay, what did he take? Her life, <laughs> right? Right? Like, I'm kind of freaking killing these right now. No, I'm not killing her. I didn't kill her. This guy, this criminal killed her, not me. He was seen in the middle of March and April that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month. In the middle of March and April? I feel like it's something to do with the words. In the middle of March and April. March and April are both 28 days, so maybe it's day 14. A-P-R-I-L-M-A-R-C-H. I think it could be the letter, letter R, because I think it's I think it's letter R. 
I was thinking Jesus. The answer is not Jesus. It's the letter R. I'm like freaking on fire, dude. Mike's mother has four kids. Their names are North. Has four kids. Their names are North. South. South. East. East. And what's the fourth kid's name? What? I mean, I feel like his name is what's the fourth kid's name. I feel like this is some weird sick joke the mom came up with to troll people for their entire life. I don't know if I got it. Six eggs. Right. Okay. I broke two. You broke two. I cooked two. You cooked two. I ate two. And you ate two. Yes. So how many are left? Four. Hmm. Wait, I broke two, cooked two, and ate two. If you're, you're eating the ones you cooked, it just depends if you broke two. Wait, no. You broke and cooked the same eggs. You broke, cooked, and ate the same eggs. The answer would still be four. I think the answer is four, man. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's four. I'm going to give it to me. I think that's right. Bug game. And what you got to do is step on every single bug and exit through this door. The only rule is after you after you step on a bug, you can't enter that bug's room again. So here, let me show you my try. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got. I'm not going to look at your try. I don't want to see it. I'm just going to say we got to exit here. We step on each square once. We're going to go. No. We're going to go down here. Take it here. 2,000 years later. God, I cannot do these. Some of these are too hard. I'm giving myself another F on it. I can't figure it out. This is too easy. It's the guy in the slippers, man. Level one through five is an absolute joke here. I know you guys are looking for a challenge. That's why it's about to step up. This next one, we have to understand the story. Jim was in the hospital for a day. He had to be out soon. Why? Bro looks fine, honestly. He's just like napping. Oh, then the power came back on because the power went out. The nurse enters the room. She's like, hey, yo, what's up, my big guy? The power went out, but it's back on. Good to see you still living. Just kidding. You got stabbed to death, my guy. Never mind. Like, that's, I'm kind of just showing you what she, like, I'm acting now. The police questioned the suspects. His wife, the doctor, the nurse, the cleaning lady. Who was it? I was in the doctor's lounge until the power was on, says the nurse. This seems valid. I was having tea in the staff room. This also seems valid. Now, I, I learned that it's always the third one at school. I was speaking to a patient. So I would say maybe there are no patients here. Maybe he can't speak. He's deaf. I was buying food at the vending machine. But you can't do that when there's no power. You can't. I, I don't think so unless they're battery powered. It's Jim's wife. It's always the wife or the husband. I knew it. I mean, it's just... It's uh, guys, level six is literally too easy. We've got another intense story. Who's the, who's the terrorist? Oh, 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 I only have seven seconds. Okay, all right, this is actually quite challenging. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know the guy sleeping. The guy sleeping is the only one that seems weird to me. How am I supposed to know this? What? Who? What? That guy in red? How is he? Because he dropped it back. If you missed that one clip, you wouldn't have seen it. No one of you could have gotten that. All right, how about this one? I mean, the guy behind the balloon's angry. That guy just, uh, it's the guy in the blue. The guy in the blue dropped a suitcase with the phone. I, I would say, I mean, the guy, it's the guy in the blue. It's the guy still there in the blue. Dang. What? It's a girl? I feel like it's never girls. There was an earthquake in Greenview, which sounds like it's in Texas for some reason, so we'll assume that's where we are. The police received a call. Hello, sir, there's an earthquake. My husband is dead. Okay. He got crushed by a wardrobe during an earthquake. When the quake hit, I was in the kitchen. No, you probably murdered him, and he was sleeping here. Okay. So how'd you know that he was crushed by the earthquake? Wait, no, that's because it'd be obvious. We've stayed at home because there was an earthquake warning yesterday. That doesn't make sense. If there's an earth- How- What? How does- I've never- Does earthquake warning- Is that even real? Is that even a thing? Like, can earthquake- can you can we predict when earthquakes will happen? I'm pretty sure like the nature of them being dangerous is that we don't know when they're coming. Anyway, he didn't get a chance to scream and I immediately called you. I think this is not an accident. Okay, well maybe instead of calling the police, you could have lifted the wardrobe up. It doesn't even look that heavy. He's probably still alive under there. He thinks he was murdered. I don't know, maybe because there's a actual saw underneath the bed and broken legs. I mean, bro, literally, what do you think, man? It is said that if you can solve this riddle, your IQ might be high enough to genuinely be a genius. I'm a genius. You are standing in front of two doors, one that leads to heaven left. and one that leads to I want the left door. The problem left door. is you don't know which door is heaven and which I door is I see it. Hell. It says it right there. Left door. Two guards that stand outside the doors know which one is which now oh. one of the guards will always tell the truth however the other one will always lie oh i know i know this you don't know which i think one tells the truth and which one lies you can only ask one guard one question what's the question to get in so if i ask the truth teller who is the liar he's gonna say that guy and if i ask the liar who's the liar he's gonna say the other guy so that's not it if i ask them who's the truth teller truth teller says me the liar says me that's not it if i ask them what the other guy would say the truth guy would say liar and the liar would say liar oh no. What is the opposite of what the other guy would say? The truth guy would say truth. The liar. The truth guy would say the opposite of what the other guy would say, which is truth. And then if the liar said the opposite of what the truth guy would say, the truth guy would say liar. And the opposite of liar is truth. So he would say truth. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold up. I'm so confused. What? I guess I'm going. I'm just picking door. Left. What is the actual answer? Because this is frustrating. 
What is the mistake they have in common? They have uh, something about their, probably something about their mouth. I think the mouth seems wrong. The mouth's wrong. The eyes, the mouth. It's the forehead's too big. Forehead's too big, final answer. Big forehead. You, let's turn the photos upside down. Uh, it looks horrible. To be fair, I did say something about the mouth. Now I took it back, so okay. All right, let's go ahead and up the stakes this next one. Let's pretend if we get it wrong, we, we die, die in real life. life. Let's just make it a little more dramatic. Holes does this t-shirt have? Okay, one, two, oh, oh, arm hole, on arm hole, Never shirt mind. hole, body hole, five, final answer, five, one, two, unless it's, that's too easy, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six is my final answer, if I'm wrong, I die. The doesn't specify which holes exactly, so the right answer is eight. What? They are the neckline, two sleeves, the bottom of the t-shirt, and four holes Where's in the Where's the other middle. two? Two in the front and two in the back, because we can see the background through them. That, 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 that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make it. You can't, you can't, you can't. How would you name this tree? A tree with a bird on it. There's a bird. Look at this. There's a beak. There's a bird. There's an owl. It's a falcon. Falco. It's a bald oh, eagle. It's a basic falcon. Change your mind in the comment section below. But the actual challenge was to notice the camouflaged bird on the tree. If you did, well done. All right, let's up the stakes again. This time my family dies I'm wrong. No, please don't do this to my family. Please. Okay, I'll take your test. I'll do it. Can you manage this one in five seconds? Can you I'll spot give them? You 20 seconds. The word spot's repeated twice. It. Can you spot spot a mistake? It says spot spot. Don't kill my family. Bro, I think my family lives. I think I let them live, bro. I'm so proud. The mistake is not in the numbers or their colors. It's in the, the mistake question. mistake is that the word spot appears yes. twice. Do I see a hidden baby? Oh, bro, it's so easy. It's like right there with like big old hands, like a big old foot. I mean, actually, it's like a small foot. It actually looks, resembles to me more a frog leg. Yeah, I mean, really, it's a sturdy child right there. I mean, boy is freaking putting on the pounds real early in his life. Your solid diet of if pure sugar. the thin oh. branch of the tree. This is actually a really famous one before we get to the final one in this particular level. Which line is longer? I mean, the thumbnail says it's B, so B. What do you mean what is longer? It's obviously A. I'm so confused how it's probably gonna be B. This doesn't make any sense. It's, how's of it course, B? Tell me it's B. line A is longer. Okay. It's so obvious, right? Well, not for everybody, or rather, not always. What? There was a research on conformity that looked like this. Five people were asked which of two lines was longer. The answer was always simple, but four of the tested people were asked to lie. So technically, there was only one real subject. The people lied very convincingly, so the subject didn't want to stand out and gave the wrong answer. Bro, oh, 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 oh. did I just do that because I picked B? Did I just give in because I see the thumbnail right there? Mike Wazowski. I'm a freaking good at spotting Mike Wazowski. He's right there. Like, that's like a little talent I have a lot of people don't know about me. But if I'm ever put into an area with a lot of things and Mike's hidden, I'll spot him like that. There he is. Of course there he is. Green. All right, that was that was Let's a little bit challenging. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and step it up. Nick is the owner of a coffee shop. Looks like bro taped a donkey tail to his chin. All right, this morning he discovered that some money had disappeared from the register. Oh no, money disappeared from my register. He last time he was there the night before. That doesn't make any sense. The money was still in the till. What the heck is a till? Last night at the cafe, there were two people. Dude with big fat hot dog nose, girl with triangle head. All right, hot dog nose and, and triangle no, triangle head, the cleaning lady. He questioned both hot dog nose and triangle lady and said, hey, yo, which one of you stole the money? John said after you left, there wasn't a single client. Interesting. On nights like that, I go to nap in the back room. Uh-oh, John needs fired. So I slept that night too. Even when Anna came, it must be her. I didn't take the money. I, as always, don't come for long. That's not a very good answer. Washed the floors and left. John was in the back the whole time, so she supports his alibi. I mean, so it's it's the, probably her. See, I feel like it's triangle head, but because I think that, it's gonna be hot dog nose. Final answer, hot dog nose. I don't know why, but it is. That's right. There's no customers and he slept. Where did the coffee go? What do you mean, where'd they go? Did, what, 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 wouldn't they have had customers prior, like before that? They didn't say what the revenue was the entire day, nor did they say they restocked their coffee supplies every single day. That's dumb. This riddle is one of the most challenging riddles for adults, but children I got are it. surprisingly good I got at it. it. Take a look at this sequence of numbers. To solve the riddle, just find the next line of numbers. Okay. I'm gonna let you look at it for a bit, and then I'm gonna give you a hint. There's, there's one one, and one two, and two ones. There's three ones, and... One, there's three ones and two twos and one one. So the next one would be the next one. I'm writing this down to prove to you guys that I am smarter than the average human being. I'm prepared for this. Two, 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 one. Final answer. One, three, one, one, two, 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 one. Here we go. Okay, so the answer one, is three. simple. You just need to read it out loud. Bro, the first line the answer. is one, one. 
so the second line literally says 1-1. One, one. The second line has two ones, so the third line says 2-1. So the answer is 1-3-1-1-2-2-2-1. One, one, three, one. One, two, 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 one. Yes! I put my reputation on the line there, folks. You know when I do that, I'm gonna come up clutch. Blue house is made of blue bricks, and obviously a yellow, a yellow house, house is, is made, made of, of yellow bricks. bricks. So then what is a greenhouse made of? I'll glass. But in the context of this, it should be green bricks, but it's glass. Come right. on, a greenhouse is made of glass. All right, we're in the final, literally most difficult riddles ever. Here we go. What has to be broken before it can be used? Broken before it can be used. All right, I'm just going to say the first thing that comes to mind. Carrot. Legos has to be broken before you can build them. The or answer food. is an egg. Number two. I'm tall when I'm young, but I'm short when I'm old. Uh, most people that shrink when they get older. That's the general human being. Ruler. A pencil. Pencil. What am pencil. I? Final the answer, answer pencil. is... Pencil. A candle. And what? lastly, what month- It's also a pencil, though. There's multiple answers. The year has 28 days. You might February. have guessed February, but they all have 28 days. Some just have more. Repeat after me. Red. 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 Blue. 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 Yellow. 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 What color is the grass? What color Green. is the grass? Oh. You can't draw two triangles with five lines. All right, I already know how to do this. Immediately got it. One, two, three. That's one triangle. Four, five. That's two triangles. See triangle? One, two, three sides. And then we have one, two, three sides. Genius. Next. Spell off. O-F-F. -F. -F. Spell ice. I-C-E. -E. All right, put it together. What does it spell? Office. Ah, oh, I got that one too. It's office. You can't beat me. You can either kiss me for free or kiss the hottest girl in the world for $1,000. Hottest girl in the world and it's you. That's the only answer, gentlemen. Don't forget it. You play with it every night before you go to bed. You get caught fiddling with it at work and you only let a selected few play with it. What is it? Phone. Few. Phone. Yeah. You might even Cell phone. play with it. It is the phone. It is the phone. Say Coca-Cola without your lips touching. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> say it normal? Coca-Cola. Your lips never touch, fool. Oh, I was trying to see if he was making me say something bad, and I was like, I'm not trying to get demonetized. I was like, Dad, can I tell you a riddle? Fine, what is it? What has four letters and sometimes has nine? Um, uh, I don't think that's possible. No, it's possible. What has four letters and sometimes has nine? Oh, the word what has four letters and the word sometimes has nine letters. And I figured that out and it only took me hearing it twice. What word has an E at the beginning, an E at the end, and only one letter? In Envelope. It? Done. Can you spot the mistake? Let's <laughs> see if you guys can figure this out. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. M I S T A K. I don't know. The mistake is. This is supposed to be a question mark. Oh. So if I drink this glass without touching no. the towel, you have to give me $500. You could blow the towel. <laughs> I did it. You owe me $500. That is so good. Five squares, you have to move two matches and make it into four squares. I will get rid of this one. We're gonna go in with a white color because we're gonna move this one. We're gonna take it, we're gonna move it right here. And then we're also gonna move this one and we're gonna move it right here. And now you have this thing, which is a, I don't know if that's considered a square actually. I think I messed up. What's the answer? I'll make, yeah. Uh. Obviously, I'm a king of riddles, but not all riddles. Some of them are just stupid. So a woman is attending her mother's funeral when all of a sudden she meets a guy she doesn't know. Kill the him. guy is perfect. Like, she really Stab thinks him. it could be the love of her life. But the only issue is she never gets the guy's oh. name or number, and nobody else seems to know who he is. Then, all of a sudden, a few days later, she randomly kills her sister. So the question is, why would she, she kill killed her sister? She killed her sister because her sister... Oh, 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 this one's super easy. So basically, she killed her sister probably because her sister was this man's... This man's sister. And she was the only one that knew that they were all actually related and inbred. Mrs. Smith was killed in her home on Sunday evening. There were five people in the house at the time of the murder. All five. The police asked them what they were doing at the time of Mrs. Smith's murder. All right, let's the see. chef... I was preparing dinner. With her body? Mr. Smith, I was in the garden looking at the stars with my telescope. 
Interesting. The gardener, I was pruning the trees. They don't have the trees. Maid, I was setting the dinner table. Uh -huh. And the butler, I was in the wine cellar getting wine for the meal. Yeah. On these statements given, the police arrested the murderer. Gardner. So who killed Mrs. Smith? Someone said Gardner as it was evening and he wouldn't be trimming trees. That was my logic, but they're saying the stars wouldn't have been out yet. We have the days of the week. I want you to put them in alphabetical order for me. Okay. If you struggled with this task, you're not the only one. Easy. Friday. Great. Monday. Hold on. Why is people struggling with this? Am I overthinking it? It seems very easy. A, B, C, D, E, F is going to be one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Nope, it's gonna be S, the T's, and it's gonna be T, H, or T, U. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it, right? A successful businesswoman has been found dead in her office. The main suspects are her assistant, her husband, and her brother. Husband. Here are their alibis. The assistant says she was out getting lunch for the boss and found her dead on her return. The husband okay. says he was away on business and found her dead on his return. Cook. The brother explains that he lives out of town. He was on the phone with her when she screamed and the line went dead. He doesn't have phones outside of town. Sherlock Holmes investigated the scene and found a note that read, The second does not lie. The second meaning the second hand of a clock. Therefore, the killer was somebody who mentioned something about time. And although the man didn't mention anything about time, her brother, the brother did use a cell phone, which allows you to skip through time by speaking to somebody immediately. Therefore, the answer is her brother. It's in the comments, brother. Boom! Michael and Jake went out to lunch and split the $30 bill evenly. You okay. paid 10 bucks each. Fair. But the server accidentally overcharged you and the bill should have been only $25. So okay. she gives the busboy your $5 refund, but he can't figure out how to evenly divide it. You can't. Three people. And I mean, you frankly, probably can, but it's hard. know that you've been overcharged. So he just takes a $2 tip for his efforts and gives you, Michael and Jake, $1 back each. Okay. So now you've only paid $9 each for lunch. 9 yeah. plus 9 plus 9 equals 27 plus the busboy kept $2 <sighs> for himself for a total of $29. <sighs> but you originally paid $30. So oh no. What am I missing here? I'm in literally an engineer. Give me one second. No, stop it. I am giving my degree back to the University of Cincinnati after this. Because the busboy takes his $2 tip, that's money that's never returned to you, Michael, or Jake. And therefore right. must now be considered as part of the total cost of the lunch. Which means that the new cost of the meal is the $25 still in the cash register, plus the busboy's $2 tip, equaling $27. When each of the three of you pays 10 bucks. Okay, so basically, I still don't understand it. And the more he talked, the more confusing I got. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'll take the L on that. Which baby is a werewolf? Among these three babies, one is a werewolf. It's the furry one, right? Uh, it's got to be the furry one. I, I, don't, I don't see what could be anything other than the furry one. They're saying B because it has paws. Oh, I guess I guess it does have paws. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. We just hit 1.5 million subscribers on this channel, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. And if you want to keep watching more, click this video to go see more crazy riddles.